In today's video, I move around rocks that I use in my aquariums and load them in my truck by throwing them. Hey everybody, it's Paul the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So I've had a lot of people ask me, what rocks do I use in my aquarium? Well, we're gonna take a trip over to the place that I pick up my rocks, and we're gonna show you uh, what they look like, what they're called, and uh, how affordable it can be. All right, we are pulling up to the place that I get my rocks for my aquariums from. And yes, they're still open, Luck, lucked out, lucked out. So it's just a giant nursery and they got a bunch of rocks around here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rocks. So as you all can see, there's a lot of different rocks to choose from. You got all kinds of river stones over there. You got some flagstone here, but we're gonna go look at what I use. All right, so the rock that I use for my aquarium, zzz, aquariums is this rock here. Now this is called so we're gonna go ahead and dig through this and find some rocks. So as you can see, there's lots of different sizes and shapes to choose from. Now these do weigh an absolute ton, but if you get the right size ones, they're easy to handle and really look great in an African cichlid aquarium. Okay, what we do is we grab one of these parts here and we come over to the rock pile and choose what we want. A lot of great rocks to choose from, I'll, I'll tell you that. So this is a flat rock. Now I've tested this rock and this rock is safe for aquariums. Um, I have a video on this and I might just do it again anyway. All right, what do we got here? See, that's a nice, that's a nice flat one. It's got some, got some surface, and hey, if you have fish that breed, that might be nice. But it's big, and I, I, don't, I don't want things that are too big. Okay, this is a sweet one right here. Look at that. Got some character. Nice size. Not too heavy, I'll be able to lift it up by myself. So that'll be good. So we'll start off with this guy here. And again, 15 cents a pound. I mean, how can you go wrong with 15 cents a pound? Yeah, that is it. That is one awesome piece right there. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, get the rocks that I'm gonna take home and we'll take a look at them. So here I am going through a bunch of the rocks, finding the ones that are gonna be good size and that'll work well in the aquarium. Some of these rocks are extremely large and some are small. So it depends on where you wanna put them in your tank, how high your tank is. Some of the big rocks are just amazing. So the choice is gonna be up to you. Okay, so we got the rocks that we want, and uh, I gotta pull it over here onto this scale. Uh, let's take a peek here. Okay, it's gotta go back some. There we go. Now we need to come up to this machine here and get the weight. 283 pounds. Okay, now we gotta load these suckers into the truck. Alright. Wish me luck.
are back home now. Uh, not as bright of, as uh, it was before, but here is a look at the rocks that I picked up today, the basalt wall rock. So basalt wall rock, 15 cents a pound at my local nursery here. This stuff's awesome. I'm sure if your local nursery has basalt, you'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these rocks. And you can see it's it's got this nice dip in here. It's got good good character. Um, even this side, it's, these rocks have a lot of nice character to them. This one especially. We found a good one here. Now look look at this guy. It's got these grooves that come in and out. I mean that's that's pretty slick. And look at that down right there. So you set these up just right and they're gonna look they're gonna look really really nice. So as I'm looking at the rocks, Zoe over there is like um hey Zoe. So you can see, you know, I got a couple of sizes. I got some big ones. Like this one's pretty neat. Again, just look, look at the how it's got all this these waves in it. It's really awesome. So I got a couple of big ones for the um, for the aquariums in the fish room, and then a couple small ones if I wanted to add any or put them in the um, the fry tanks just to add a little something. So that that is it. Those are the rocks. Um, they're awesome. There's Zoe chilling. While I'm uh, looking at the rocks. So that's going to do it, everybody. I hope that uh, this answers some of your guys' questions about the rocks that I use. I know I get a lot of questions about those. Uh, basalt wall rock. Again, I'm sure if your local nursery has just basalt rock, it's going to be fine. Uh, but I would still check it to be sure. But this is what I use. I got it from Terra Gardens here in my local nursery in Oregon. Uh, and it's awesome. They work great. They're really heavy. But... They are really great. They look nice and um, I haven't had any problems with them. So if you guys could comment, like, and subscribe, that would be awesome. And in a future video, I will be showing you guys how to prep these rocks for your aquarium. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again, everybody, for watching and stay tanked.